everybody, it's Emily at Hopscotch Interactive, and I am finally back for part two of the uh, video that I started actually now over two months ago, which is to follow up to my Rico Theta Z1 uh, getting damaged in the field and me needing to send it in to Precision Camera for repair. So uh, let's just sort of give you the play-by-play. -play. I sent it in on, let's see, I published that video June 9th. So um, sent it in on June 9th and uh, I got a notification that they received the package and that I had a like a work order number. Um, I made some notes here, so let me just check these. So it was June 18th. So 10 days later, I get sort of this confirmation that um, my camera has been received and that they've opened it up and they've, you know, said what parts they have and they've they've sort of taken the initial assessment. Um, and again, if you guys recall from the first video, I was unsure that I needed to pay for a full lens replacement or maybe if it could be buffed out, I didn't know. Um, it was a very minor um, scratch, but I thought, hey, I'll set it in because the price tag was $420. So anyway, um, I then get a email uh, on July 6th, which is now two weeks later, saying that, well, like they asked me for a proof of purchase, but if you recall from the video, I had actually included all of that in the package. So I had printed out the proof of purchase, um, but I had it anyway in my inbox, so I forwarded it to um, Precision Camera. And they were super nice, of course. There were two different people I was talking to. And I didn't, you know, I didn't really, um, you know, put, some time pressure on them. I just wanted to see what would happen. So um, at that time, they then told me that um, the cost to investigate it and repair it was going to be um, the $420 again. And the other thing that I didn't realize was that it was going to be either $420 to repair it um, or it was going to be $80 to just investigate it. And so and then get it back. So if I decided I didn't want them to do the work, then it would still cost me $80 plus the shipping for me to have sent it in. So um, I decided that um, I, I was going to just go ahead and get it repaired. And I knew that I was gonna do that in the first place. Um, but the good news is that um, what they ended up doing, and you know, um, it depends on what you feel is good for the environment or not, but perhaps they'll refurbish my other camera, but what they did is um, Rico Theta, so Rico decided to uh, just replace the whole camera. So that was a big surprise. I wasn't expecting that. And uh, so um, they, they sent it to me eventually and they had my card on file. So I was like, I, I actually, the email was funny because they said, well, um, you know, would you like for us to go ahead with the repair? And I said, well, sure, you know, of course, but then they never asked me for payment information. And then I double checked. I said, do you guys have, you know, do you need a card for me? Do you need anything? And they're like, oh, well, we have this one on file. Should we use that one? And, and that this was, um, at this point was like, I think July 19th. And so, um, so this took a while, like this initial part of it for me to realize what was going to happen took actually already five weeks. And, uh, let's see, then I, I went out of town. I wasn't here for a week, but, um, when I got back, um, at the sort of middle of August, which was where we are at now, um, I received this package and this was shipped to me on August 9th. So anyway, I will show it to you, uh, but it was shipped to me on August 9th and today air. So I think this is my replacement camera. Now what they said was that it's going to be a um, full replacement. And they also told me that, uh, let's see what they say. They just said that, yeah, you just get your, you get your camera and it would be a new camera. So I'm guessing that this is going to have a new serial number and this is going to be from Rico. And oh, the one, this was it. This is what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I wanted to tell you that the repair has a 90 day warranty. So I'm guessing that this replacement camera falls under that same precision camera arrangement. I'm guessing, I mean, I hope um, it's an assumption that if you send it in for repair and then they end up replacing it from the manufacturer that you are going to get a, um, 
a similar warranty that they will honor that. So we're going to unbox this. We're going to see what's inside. And ta-da! Wow, it's kind of fun. It's like a little, little present for myself. Um, here is my new camera. So I'm excited about this. I have a 51 gigabyte one. Oh, now I see why they did that. Because they came out with the new model. And so they basically upgraded me. So this is awesome. Okay, I'm really excited about this. I mean, I don't really need that much capacity in my Z1, but to be able to have a brand new one that has the full capacity of the new model, even though they didn't upgrade anything else, like it's like this version two um, with the 51 gigabytes. And um, so yeah, so I'm stoked. Repair price, 375. Shipping and handling, $45. Um, and total charges for $20. So that included shipping. That was um, sent to my address. And you can see there's the $420. And I have a new Rico Theta Z1 in a new box. So if you guys haven't seen one of these before uh, being unboxed, I'm just going to give you and, uh, well, you would, because if you came to this video, then obviously you had a Z1 that you dropped or that something happened to it. But the cool thing is, is look, all the new stuff right here. And um, so it's awesome. So I get my new camera. I'm going to inspect it, make sure that the lenses look good. It's got a little, a little schmutz on it. I don't want to scratch it, obviously. I don't want to scratch it, but it, it came in. It's beautiful. It's in perfect condition, and it's a new... Rico Theta Z1. So guys, I don't know what's gonna happen to you. I don't think, I didn't tell them I was anybody special or anything like that. So hey look, if you turn yours in now, maybe you will get a replacement one instead of getting the lens fixed and then you get a, a Rico Theta Z1 51 gigabyte for $420. So. I wish I could have kept my old one that had the little scratch uh, just because it would have been a nice backup to have. Um, but hey, it'll end up being refurbished and uh, maybe one of you guys will use it. But in the meantime, here's my new camera. Thank you. Uh, and if you found this video informative, um, definitely subscribe, um, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what happens when you send yours in. I hope it doesn't take two months. Um, mine took two months, but I think perhaps that might have had something to do with the timing of the um, of the new model coming out. Maybe there was a back order, or maybe um, they were sort of low on inventory, and so they were out of the you know of the parts that they needed because they've been manufacturing the new ones. Who knows? Like supply chain is all weird right now um, for everything from lumber to paint. So why not for electronics as well? Um, but yeah, so definitely let me know what you think. And uh, if you you know need to reach the Precision Camera folks, you know you go to their website and uh, they will help you out. And I'm very I'm very glad that um, even though it took a while that I did get something and, and, um, and that I have a new camera now so we will be able to get it rolling. All right, thanks guys, um, that's all.